2022 F-150 Lariat. I'm gonna do go over the specs, I'm gonna tell you all about it, and I'm also giving a shout out here to Highland Ford here in Westville, Nova Scotia. And I'm also gonna give it a truck report geek score one to five, so you wanna stick around to the end of the video. So this is gonna be a good one, folks. Let's get at her. All right, folks, there you have it. The 2022 F-150 Lariat Edition. This one here comes with the 2.7 liter uh, engine with 325 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it also has up to 10,100 pounds of towing capacity. Uh, so if you're looking for a truck that is more than capable of doing the job, you know, you've got, again, 400 foot-pounds of torque and 10,000, 10,100 pounds of towing capacity with a payload of up to 1,800 pounds uh, in the cargo area and the passengers. So let's get on with the video. So you've got your front here, right? That nice bold look uh, with, the, with the new uh, Lariat here. You've got the, you've got the LED lights here, <clears throat> you know, your signal lights down here. You've got all of your uh, tow hooks and everything down here at the bottom here. All right, so there's your, there's the tow hooks there. Hopefully you never need those, right? But you've got everything built in here. Uh, so it's got that nice, you know, big Ford logo here. So even the stance here is, Unbelievable. It really, really, done, really, really did a nice job here on this one. So you've got the, the 18-inch rims here on this one um, with the 275-millimeter tires. Uh, it's a Goodyear Wrangler, and it's the all-terrain, right? So you've got that nice, aggressive tread here. On the all-terrain tires right so you get some running boards here help you get in and up out of the vehicle which is good go around the back here you get your shocks and leaf springs back here right I really love the rim style that comes with this lariat very nice and this is also the sport for those of you wondering so you've also got the the nice LED lights here in the back, which is good. Uh, you come around to the back here. As you will see, it was, it's got all the parking sensors in the bumper here, all right? So you got one here, you know. So same as over here. You got your backup camera right here, all right? So yeah, it's a, uh, and again, you got that nice, bold look on the back here with the F-150 badging on the tailgate. Let's pop down the tailgate here and, and show you how easy it is to uh, put down the tailgate. We'll press right here. Twice. There we go. Yep. So that's that. <clears throat> you get a payload capacity on the truck. Up to 18, 1,875 pounds payload capacity. That's your cargo and passengers, of course. It's got a towing capacity of 10,000 pounds towing capacity. It's got, you know, enough to do the job here for you. So let's go in the back here. And as you can see here, here's what I like the most is the two-tone. So you've got your your really nice leather material here you can see the the quality of the stitching right here in the doors even right here right so you've got your different colors leathering leather here which is nice you've got your speaker here right so yeah they've 
you get the piano finish here of the door handles and again the back here you've got that nice stitching right here and here and here's what I really like right here look at the detail of the seats they've got the stitching here but they also put in this nice light colored uh, tubing here to really offset you know more style and class you know because it is the lariat so um, I'm gonna hop in back here and show you the leg room I have the seat in the front all the way back just to see how much leg room you still have and you know and I'm a pretty pretty tall guy and as you can see there's still lots of leg room here and again that's that front seat is all the way back so and um, so yeah so you got dual cup holders here a few folks that are you know need a place for put a bottle of water you've got your dual vents back here for those folks sitting in the back you got your connections here of course but the quality in this truck like it's really nice really nice and as you can see they've got the perforated seats here so you know it's um lets the leather breathe even better uh, so that way you're not getting uh, you know too hot or sitting on the leather seats of course because they can be hot in the summer and they can be cold in the winter so yeah all right you've got uh, your system here security code if you want to put in so again here's the front you've got this this beautiful leather here with the again the stitching and you get stitching right here as well you've got all your controls here right on the door for your windows and locks and everything and your memory reset for the drivers when they get in Wow, this is just gorgeous, I will say that. Center console here, um, it is just unbelievable, the quality here. As you can see with the, with the console here, you can see the detail right here of the, of the leather right here. Look, you get the stitching here, of course. Like, they really dual cup holders right here you got your spot here for if you want to put other stuff in you got your more connections here so it's really 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 nice and this is where this truck here uh, i am really impressed with it i'm gonna put the uh the system on here so you got the You've got the 12-inch display on your on your dash here, so they've done a really really nice job of this one. Really nice job. So lots of features here for you to enjoy. You know you've got your all your settings here. You've got your your radio settings, the vehicle settings here, your clock. You know your phone. We can add your phone. You got your navigation, your sound. Um, all your general stuff if you go here I'll close this if you go here you've got your towing here so this will tell you everything about the towing um, yeah so I mean it's you click back here again you've got your zone lighting right there so if you want to adjust that um, yeah so there's your zone lighting which gives you like a, a bird's eye view of everything all right so you go back here again you got your driver assistance here you got the driver assistance and all the settings there you know for what you like i will start it here just to show you what the cameras and everything look like of course so once it uh, starts here perfect i'll put it in reverse I'll show you the backup camera. 
So there's the backup camera. It's more than enough display for a backup camera. And you could also have your trailer, uh, when you're backing into a trailer, if you want to see right down onto the tailgate or the bumper where your connection would be. So right here, if you had a trailer here, of course, you'd have the, the ball coming out for your trailer hitch right here. So then you can back right into, I mean, it saves a lot of guessing, you know, back in, back in the days when we were trying to line up a trailer, it'd be two or three tr times trying to, you know, get the ball to hook up to the trailer hitch, but that's, they've got it pretty easy now, right? Back here and yeah, so you've got all your settings down here. It's, you know, lots of connections here, you know, for keeping things all plugged in, right? You've got your trailer brake here, right? For those of you that are towing a trailer, uh, you've got your two wheel high, four wheel high here, four low and four automatic. So yeah, it's, it's uh, all of your settings here for your air conditioning and your radio and, and uh, everything else that you need. I like it. Here's what I really like the most. They still stuck with the, with the, you know, the, the actual toggles that you can actually turn here. Like I like that instead of relying on up here on a digital display. You can do it from the digital display, but you know, you still have that feature here of, if you just want to turn the radio up, you can just turn the radio up, which is kind of cool. And this truck has the digital display up here for your for your dash like your speedometer speedometer and your rpms of course right and they've got the two-tone uh you know leather up here as well gives it that nice bit of elegance right you've got your camera budding here right and you've got your hazard button here as well the hazard button you got your camera button here and your your uh, uh, traction control here, of course, right? So you've got lots of vents and everything here. You've got your pro trailer switch here, which is nice. And look at the quality of this truck. It's just unbelievable gorgeous. And if you got all your settings up here, of course, you know. So you've got your two LED lights up in there. So yeah, they've they've really put together nice here. All right, really put together nice. You got all your functions here, your phone settings, your menu here. Um, yeah, so it's everything's here for you. You've got your cruise control and everything else over here, of course, right there. All right. So yeah, they've done a really nice job of this truck. Like, I like the way they give it that that that. It's it's almost like a like a chrome looked on the dash here in certain spots same as over here it's like a it's like a polished it's like a polished chrome or and you can see the detail of the of it right across here as well like it goes right straight across the truck so yeah they've they really they've done a really nice job of this truck right you know if i was in the market for for an f-150 this one would be definitely on my buckets list. I will tell you that for sure, All right? So, and as you can tell, there was somebody that went behind us and it warned us that there was somebody behind us. So yeah, so we'll hop out here. So we're good there. We'll hop out here and, and I'll give it the truck report geek score. So yeah, so there you have it folks, the 2022 Lariat F-150, I'll give this one definitely a 4.6 out of 5 for those of you folks that are looking for a light duty truck, again, like this video please subscribe to the channel if you if you haven't already done so it'll great I'm greatly appreciative if you do 
and uh, we'll see you on the next video. All right, bye for now.